Can you just tell us your name again? Yes, I'm Doug Ero. All right, and what have you brought with you to the harvest today? I just brought the bicentennial plate and the bicentennial mug and a, a print of Fort Augusta. Well, these were done in 1972, was the bicentennial. Okay. And why did you decide to bring these with you today? Because I saw it on Facebook. That's a good reason. <laughs> and wanted to come in and just check, check it out and see what it was all about. Awesome. Um, how did your family acquire these items? Well, I guess particularly the print. Did you just purchase it? Or? That was bought from the Sunbury Historical Society. Okay. And um, these were bought at the, at the Bicentennial in 72. So and this was bought at the Hotel Edison. Okay. How do these items connect to Sunbury history? Well, it's, it, it's celebrating their 200th anniversary, which was what, 72, 40, 40 some years ago. And this was the fort that used to be in Sunbury from 1756 to 1784. And still there today, a replica of it. Right. Which, I, as a kid, I used to play at the old fort before they mm -hmm. built the new one. You used to play at the fort? Yeah, it used to be when I was little. Mm -hmm. So, for anyone unfamiliar with Sunbury's history, what would you like to say about these items, about Sunbury's history, for anyone that might be watching this? Well, just I was born and raised in Sunbury. So I, I moved for a while, I lived in, Phil, in Philadelphia. In the early 60s, I moved to Philly, and then in 1983, I moved back to, to Sunbury. Uh, before I finish, do you, um, do you have a favorite memory of growing up in Sunbury? It's kind of stupid, but there used to be a little store on Bainbridge Street in Sunbury, right off the, the old tool bridge that came off the, the original bridge. You had to pay to go back and forth on. I used to go there and buy one cent candy, which chocolate. I'm still a chocoholic today, but that's what I did as a kid. Every day I'd go to the store and get a soda and a penny candy. Okay. 